Okay, we're on Nedarim Perik Yud, Nedarim Perik Yud, Mishnah Aleph. We're going to turn to the talk, to the discussion of Hafarat Nedarim. Until now, let's just begin by, well, we'll, we'll have to learn a few terms. Until now, we learned Hatarat Nedarim, the idea of being Matir and Neder. Hatarat Nedarim means going to a Chacham or going to a Beitin and saying, I didn't really mean to say what I, what I, what I meant to say. And therefore, the, the, and you find a Petach of Charata, of remorse. And the Chsei Mutalach, it's as if you didn't have a Neder at all. So we're going to go to Perak Yud, and in Perak Yud we're learning what's called Hafarat Nidarim. Hafer means to re, uh, refuse or undo the Neder. Hafarat Nidarim is done by a, not by a person themselves, that a person goes to a Chacham, but Hafarat Nidarim is done on behalf of a young woman, okay, who, and it's done either by her father or by her husband. Let's go back to the Psukim, which we started the, we started the entire uh, uh, Mestachet with. Okay, we said, Ishki dor neder l'ashem o yishav ha-shavuah, lo yachel divaro. He can't make his words chulin, profane. Kechol yotzei mipiv yase, everything he said, he would do, he has to do. That's, that's ish. Okay, we'll underline it. But what about isha ki ti dor neder l'ashem? If a woman should take a neder, okay. Ve'asra isar beveit avia binurea. We're going to highlight that. Beveit avia, there's two conditions. It has to be beveit avia in her father's house. And binurim, which is a na'ara. So just to review, let's go back to, we'll just go back to our bulletin board here. Okay, for our, there are three levels for a young woman. There's three a, different age categories. She's a ketana. Ketana is until, 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 you know, ad gil, until, until she's 12. From, she's a na'ara, from the age of 12 until 12 and a half. And she's a na'ara. And after twelve and a half, and, and after twelve and a half, she becomes what's called a bogeret. She's a, then, then she's bogeret. It's twelve point five onward. Okay, so that's between that those things. And but interestingly enough, for the purposes of nidarim, the age of 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 being able to be a noderet actually interestingly is from the age of eleven and a half moving forward. Her neder is considered chal. If she says she knows why she took the neder. A woman can be no derit from the, from a half a year before she reaches the age of maturity, which is the age of na'arut. Okay. So, she must be, then we learn the pasuk, bevet avia bin ureha. Okay. It has to be bevet avia bin ureha. Isha, ki didor neder la shem shiks and neder. Vasa isar, bevet avia in her father's house, bin ureha, and, and when she's in na'ara. Okay. So, if she is a bogeret, then, then the salachat don't apply. If she's not bevet avia, the salachat don't apply. But if she's in her father's house, Bin Urea in the age of Na'arut, Vishama Aviat ni Drava Esra Shirasra. After her father heard, she took a neder and she said, I will never, I don't know, eat uh, challah again. Vehechrishla, so if he's quiet, Avia for father is quiet, but Kamukol Nidarea Vikhalisar Ashrasra Nafsha Yakum, then fine. Her neder is Yakum, it shall become uh, it shall become uh, it shall take effect. Okay, the imhini aviyota viyom shamo, kundare vesarazra nafsa lo yakum, vashami slachla. Ki heni aviha ota. The word heni means if her father restrains her, im heni aviha restrains her and he finds out, then kol nidere veser she asra nafshat lo yakum. Then they don't, let's go back to uh, our text, so that's what heni means. Okay, then they won't stand up. Hashem yislach la ki heni aviha ota. Hashem will forgive her. Okay, that's in her father's house. Vim hayo tiye leish, if she's married, meaning if she's bebeit aviha bin around, then her father does it. If she's married, Bishama Isha, Isha with the Mapike. Her husband hears. Okay. In Biom Shamo Isha, the father here on the day her father is here, Yani Ota, he restrains her. The Hefer, this is the word we're looking for, Hafara. And he negates, he undermines, he restrains. The Hefer Nidrashara Leha. Let's go back and see what Safaria says, the Hefer Nidrashara. He annuls her vow, which is in force. Okay. Vashem Yislachla. Then Hashem will forgive her. So we learn from this that when she's in her father's house, when she's bebeit aviha, then it's her father's responsibility to be mat mayfair. When it's her, when she's in her husband's house, then her husband must, has to, has to be mayfair. So let's go back to our case here. Okay. When she's in, when she's, we said, okay, ne'ureha, oops, ne'ureha, ne'ureha bebeit aviha, then her, then ha'av mayfair. Then the father, the father, that's a fat nedarim. Okay. When she's, uh, nisua, nisua, then 
Habal Mefer. That's what the Torah says. So our mission, of course, is going to ask, oops, let's go, let's go down one more. Our mission is going to, going to ask the obvious question. What about this case? What about a na'ara mi'urasa? Mi'urasa, a girl who's a na'ara, so she's, a, but she's, and she's in her father's house, but they did erisin, as we learned. So she is, on the one hand, in her father's house, she's still living at home, but she's mi'urasa. After they did erisin, she's married to a husband. So, and she's got this year to get ready for her new life. So which is it? That's the topic, after that long projection of our Mishnah. Na'ara mi'urasa. So what about a na'ara mi'urasa? What, what's her din? Who does hafara nedarim for her? Mishnah says, avia uba'ala mifeirin nedareha. Her father and her husband both have to do hafarat nedarim. Ha'afer ha'avalo hefer ha'baal. So it's not either or, but rather both. If hefer ha'avalo hefer ha'baal. If the father negated, an her nedarim. But not the husband, or hefer ha'av, or hefer ha'av, eno mufar, it's not negated. Ve'en sarich lomar, she'kiyeh mechad me'am. And this is of course true, if kiyeh mechad me'am. If one of them, when they hear the neder, so you have two choices, they have three choices. They can say, hafarat nedarim, they can say nothing, or they can say, yes, that is a neder, I accept it, she should not eat challah anymore. Okay, so it's obviously true, if one of them was mekayem the neder, then, then uh, the neder is chal, and the neder is not mefer, even if the husband, let's say the father says, yes, it's a neder, that's says, no, 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 nonetheless, the neder is mekuyam. The Mishnah said, the obvious is not obvious, so the Gemara says that this is talking about a case where if you, if you're, if you hear on the day that a woman takes, that your daughter takes a neder, and you're a mekayim, you can then go back and be mefer your kiyum, you can undo it, you can do hatarat nedarim on your kiyum. But you can't do it if, if one of them is a father or a husband, they can't do it, it doesn't work. That's what this part of the Mishnah is trying to tell us. Okay, we'll stop here and dedicate our learning to the memory of my father, Harab Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Have a great day.